Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we are back with the Samsung 4-door flex fridge. I've done a lot of videos on this um, to give you updates on how things were going and that sort of thing. I will link all of those below so you can take a look at the, all those videos for updates and reviews and that sort of thing. But today, we are going to talk about how to remove the bottom shelf so you can clean them. So we like to keep things really clean in our fridge. It, it helps. It doesn't always show in our videos, but we do what we can to keep things clean. So anyways, we're going to show you how to remove that. So to start off with, we took the, shelf, the bottom two drawers out, and then we're going to show you how to remove the shelf that goes above that without damaging or breaking it. So there is ways to do it where you can damage it, and we're going to tell you what not to do there. We're going to show you how to remove it and then take the glass out so you can get it nice and clean so your fridge still looks brand new. So let's get started. Samsung isn't extremely clear about how to do this in their instructions. Sometimes just seeing a quick video will show you how uh, to get it done much quicker and at the same time uh, do it where you're not going to break the fridge. So you can see right now we already removed both of the drawers that fit below this. So the, below, the drawers go on, on um, a separate track. They aren't really connected to this top piece at all. So uh, let me get started here and show you how, how to do this. The first thing I want to show you is what not to do. So there's little clips here. It looks like these little clips would you just shove a little screwdriver under there, pop them up and the glass comes up. So really what we're trying to do is get this glass out of here so we can clean. You can see that it's really kind of dirty in there. We want to clean that out. So that's really what we're trying to do. Do not do that. If you try to pop those little clips up, they will break immediately. So uh, don't do that, that's step one. So what we're gonna do and what we're trying to accomplish here is to remove this whole shelf, this whole shelf to come out so we can take this glass out and get it clean. So in order to do that, you kinda gotta get down underneath here and you'll see that there's a tab on this side and there's a tab on this side there. So there's one on each side. Where my fingers are, that's where they line up. They are very difficult to push in with just your fingers. So. You'll see a couple different methods you can do this. You can put a screwdriver on there to push them in really tight, or if you really have some strong hands, you can push them in with your fingers, and then if you want to push them in, the whole thing will pop up. So again, it's hard to do. You can see I'm even struggling doing it. It's hard to do, but once you push them in, you don't want this bottom piece to come up. There you go. So now you can see it pops up. And if you look really close here, you can see where it clips in. You know, you can see where these little tabs here click in but that's how um, those things clip in. So once you do that, you'll have to get your, your, your doors all the way open because it's basically the whole width of what the refrigerator is. So you'll be able to slide the whole thing up and out and it will be a tight fit, but you will hopefully be able to open your doors enough to get this whole piece out. So there you have it one piece, everything is taken out. So now that we got this out, we got it on our countertop here, resist the urge to try to pry these things up. These are the clips that we were talking about that were in the back. They look like you'd be able to just prop them up, pull the glass out. That is not the way it works. And that will, they will break. So don't do that. What you want to do is you want to flip it over, lay it on your counter, lay it on something that's a flat surface. And then you'll see here, on both sides, you'll see that you can actually push in these clips. They actually are kind of something that, you know, you can either do it with a screwdriver. You can see I just did that side, that popped out. And then you can either do it with your fingertips, your fingers, if you have strong enough hands, do it with a nail or something like that. There you go, pop it out. And then as you lift up here, you're gonna have to be a little bit careful because you wanna slide the glass out. So I'm gonna get my hands back under it, hopefully slide it out. Now be careful not to break it. So you'll see a couple things. Now your clips are on the table, but when you slid it out, that's why we had to slide it forward because that's what holds it in the front in place. So that's what you, and you can see that the, you want to slide it forward and it'll pop right back out. Now that is the grime we're trying to get rid of because that's pretty nasty. So that's all the whatever fell in there and we want to make sure that we can get that nice and clean. So if you actually have a, a second set of hands, it's probably the best way to do it. The other better way to do this probably, which I didn't show you here, is to pretty much lay down like a, a towel or something so that your glass doesn't, you don't want your glass to hit your granite countertops or, or your quartz or whatever because glass and, and quartz and that thing doesn't mix very well. 
So if you laid down a towel here, it'd be a lot easier um, and probably a lot safer for me to actually break this glass. So that's what we did today. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and put it back together and show you how to do that. Okay, so as you can see, I put a towel down and then I made sure to Windex the top and get all the, the crease nice and clean so everything's out of it now. So the last step really is to really put the glass back in and you could do this from the top side. So you can see from here that all you really have to do is get it kind of slid into those corner pieces. So this you can kind of do on your own, right? Slide it in. So now you can see it's in place here. Um, and it's underneath this, and you gotta make sure it's underneath each of those corners so that you can see it's actually kind of in place there. So then, your two little clips. So those are your two little clips that you have. And you can do those from the top, and those are gonna be your last piece there. And those actually just push back through really nice, and they, they clip in. And then this one will do the same thing, if we can just see that there. And you'll hear it click in. So now, you can see how nice and clean it is, and your glass is back secure the way it should be, and everything is nice and clean. So the last step is really to get it back in the fridge. So again, the only thing that's gonna, is really a challenge with this is if your doors don't open all the way. So mine don't quite open all the way, but you can kind of get it, this where you could use an extra hand a little bit to make sure your drawers are, or your doors stay open. So you kind of got to angle it in there a little bit to get it in there the first time. So then, there we go. Now, if you take a look here. So one thing that's interesting, and if you look at the back here, you think that you want this piece to go under that. You don't. So it literally rests on top of that. That's part of the drawer system. So when you're putting it in, resist the urge to try to wedge it down there, right? So if you kind of just kind of like slide it in on the rails, try to get as even as you can, once you get to here, there's actually a piece that drops down into the thing. And if you look on this side, you'll see that now I'm flat here. If you can see right there, you can see I'm in flat. Now your instinct is really gonna be to try to push and get it underneath these things, because that's what it looks like. You don't wanna do that. So once you get to here, so the other piece of it is you wanna kinda of be above this little rail. So you wanna to push to the back first, and then push down. So now, it clamped into place and you can see this line here now is completely even across, right? So you can see that it's in there good. And now it's clamped into place. So one thing I will say is sometimes these little pieces, these little clamp pieces don't clamp back down very tight. So I don't know why that is, but they will clamp in if you get them in just right, though you'll hear them click, but they just, sometimes they don't, which isn't a big deal because I mean, how often are you coming from the bottom of your drawers, you're not. So now that's in place and you can see everything's in place. So now all the last thing we have to do really is to put our drawers back in. Okay guys, so that's it. That's how you want to remove your bottom shelf that goes above your drawers in your four door flex Samsung fridge. Um, let us know if you've had any challenges with that or if there's other things that you want us to cover on doing this the four door flex fridge. So I think we've gotten quite a bit of those things, um, those items covered, there'll be links below in the reviews that we did for those things. Uh, but subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and uh, we will see you next time and we'll tell you more about the Samsung Florida Flex.